Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Yikes! Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. And now, back to objecting to people. If you just do it, it will turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Nate Night here, and I'm back for more Phoenix Right. Let the game turn down a little bit this time. Doing this little BS again. One one take. Hopefully, last time I did this, audio is a little off, but let's do this. Actually, let me check this audio real fast. Oh, yeah, that, that was loud. Very loud. Very, very fucking loud. Turn about goodbye is day two trial. December 26th, 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Wow, very loud. Um, karma? That's right. That's right, Governor. Manred from Karma. He's the best prosecutor there, there is. Governor, he hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case! He'll do anything guilty work. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know at Edgeworth. Hemp. You don't understand. I'm I mean he'll really do anything. Matt Governor Marin Manrid Fawn Karma is a man to be feared. It's quite a claim from someone coming from someone who forces evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as this is me multiplied by a factor of ten. Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh wait. Maybe he's planned to lose on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. 
I haven't lost one since 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. Ugh. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, um, Maya? Uh huh! We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh! Huh? I can't! Sorry, I tried, I really tried, but I can't, couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Today, I'm District Court number three. <coughs> <coughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Yeah. Er, Mr. Ron Karma, is the prosecution ready? Mm. Fool! <laughs> you seriously think that I would stand here if I'm not completely prepared? Uh, right, Apo my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. <clears throat> Very well, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? <clears throat> Or uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. So we're gonna need a cop trap for this one. <coughs> the prosecution may call its first witness. Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call I can't get that I said that. I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. No! Yes, sir? Let's see, Gumshoe looks nervous. Err, err, pal. Please let me take, please, please take the, the map, pal. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. Well, there's one boat in the middle of the, very middle of the lake. That's not the middle. That's more of the side, but whatever. There are two men on the boat. Now, now, pal, there happened to be a, a woman camped here on the edge of the lake. At 12, 10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots, pal. Then the boat started to move. 
towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Or if I map it or add the court record. To try to record about your arrest. Now! W wait, Mr. Rankarma. Yes? Actually, I'm the foot one because you're handling these procedures. Uh, wrong. Only one thing you need, you need to do here. You will you will slam down your gavel and say the words guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course. Yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. That's where it's. A man called him. Okay, pals, a man called the station around three, 40 minutes after the midnight. We had to see the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found the church, pal. Now I didn't expect him to see no, anything at all. But the next morning, body was found in the lake. So we had, so we had the rest of Mr. Edwards, pals. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your foster begin your foster attorney, attorney now. For midnight, first thing. I see a call from a man. Er, uh, yep. We said there's a woman camping there. She's one of the gunshots, right? That woman and the man who called the reporter are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Eric. The testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I have some of the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? We had the scene of the crime as fast as we, as we could. We had, we had the scene as we crime as we could, pal. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Or, or I'd say it's about three minutes. That's pretty fast. I'm out for the month, pals. Get there quick. That's it. You're afraid from counseling you're feeling department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, pals. Do that, and you'll be able to look forward to your next salary reviews. So I'm to look forward to these days. So, there's no time for daydreaming. Continue! Yes, sir? That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, what was Mr. Edgeworth like when you found, saw, saw him then? Well, from what I, from what I saw, you looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all. Really? Like this, what requires your facts, not your opinions. How many years have you been the force? Facts are only detective, hard, goal, objective facts. Yes, sir. I ain't got a share of objections. I didn't think it was anything at all. Why do you think he's suspicious? You should know. We have a deep pressing reason to the prosecutors. Detective, the court is interested in your musings. Deep trusting puppycock. I'm 
I've never heard so many so, flip, 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 comments from the thing, active thing having the force. Hmm. Like the gun doesn't look so good. Continue. Now! The well, next morning, a body is found in the lake. You find any clues on the body? A single bullet. A single bullet was discovered from the body. It's after the heart. Fatally. Judge, here is the bullet. The inner strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the detective, the court, very well, the, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. This will bullet add to the court record. So we had the rest, Mr. Edgeworth. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon on the boat. The, the murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That's a valid piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Alright, uh, sorry, Your Honor. The weapon we found the boat was the size of evidence. What about the pistol made the size of evidence? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Ack, you have the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. The fingerprints found the pistol in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edwards' right hand. What? Order! Um, order! Order! So the ju uh, so the so, uh, so the ju Mr. Edwards' fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Except, uh, except in evidence, or some evidence. Of the court records. Members of the court. Members of the court. <coughs> we we now have the pistol used in the we now have the pistol used in the murder, murder and the bullets found in the body. Detective. Yes sir. Y yes sir. <coughs> Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yeah, pal, the bullets in the... Yes, pal, the bullets in the... Marking to the bullets match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick! <laughs> what does he mean? Ballistic markings! Shocking. To imagine someone here doesn't know something as basic as ballistic markings. Oh, very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Er, uh, me? Um. <coughs> Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves deep markers on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. The pistol which you can make recall was covered from the defendant's own fingerprints. Order. 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 This is bad. This makes it look like Edward did it. 
Well, Judge. Oh, so he's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I can declare a verdict at this point. However. <laughs> you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am some... I I am somewhat fatigued, so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess. Which will last 10 minutes. Judge! Yeah, yeah, yours? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess? Now! Uh, but, but wait, I... <coughs> Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh huh. This court will take a two minute recess. So he's writing this court, anyways. Is there 20 seconds? 11.09 a.m. Defense lobby number two. Edgeworth, what's going on here? You figure your print was on the, on the murder weapon? Uh, uh, um, um. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one that could have shot that man was the person with the pistol. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes. It was. Yes, Gavna, it was me. What? Well, you must. But Gavna, you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? Uh, I don't know. You don't know, weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but... I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? Gun that, that's the only thing I can come up with. Huh? I can just eat one of that. Say Maya! Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh! Sorry! It's no good! Ugh. I know! I'm not good for anything! Am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here. <coughs> right? Yeah, you're useless. No, I, I need you here. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help. It's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials. Or defense. What's more, I'm even I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck's gonna run out. Really? Really? Whoa, right. Don't 
think this case more than it already is. It has my heart. Oh, 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 sorry. Whoops. <clears throat> Court is back in session. Mr. Von Carmen, call your witness. Yes. <laughs> will Mr. La will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? <clears throat> Lotta Hart, you're a research student at the university? That I am! Oh, no, no, that, that. that I am! That, uh, that I... That I am! Good, now begin your telling what you saw tonight of the incident. Do I anything trivial or subject subjective? Understand? Sure! Oh. Uh, Y'all don't need to learn some manners! Understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. Everybody, really just my please. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang coming up from the lake. When I looked out, I saw two. I saw two jets in the boat. And there's another bang. There was a narrow thing in that on that lake, but the boat. Enough. Huh? Judge. See, I'm taking a photograph of the incident. This is a photo. Except this evidence. Well, well, this is a surprise. It's always the very moment of the murder. Order? I will move you to the courtroom. You don't have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked in the lake when she heard the shot. There are no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order. I will have order. Well, Judge, the evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, the court finds this defendant. Uh, hello, your honor, wait, wait, your honor. I haven't crossed examined witness yet. Cross examination? We have photographic proof. What proof can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words and they all read guilty. You lose. Or... Do you claim to have found out confusion in her state of money? Very well, if you have to, you may close down as a witness. You've only floundered asking these questions. You have failed to find anything. And then you, I will have you held in the court. Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. What are you going to do? Was there a confusion in testimony? I think there was. I think I noticed one little thing. Well, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Uh, yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I'll cross down with the witness. Tiss, tiss, tiss. 
very well. I pray for your sake this is a waste of time. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, well, well, yeah. Well, yes. I'm gonna find a contradiction, but really. Hmm. The real contradiction is relevant to the trial. Let's continue your testimony. I was in my car. Why are you coming there anyways? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures using my research. Research is all sounds suspicious. Press further. Miss Hart. You want to say something about your research? <laughs> what does the witness have to be able to the encampment of the lake have anything to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection, objection sustained. No, wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then say it already. Objections are doomed. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. I just begged him up from the lake. See, so we're looking at the lake at the time. Nope. I looked at that. I heard that noise. She said that already. And contradictions. Not least we chat with the witness. Erk. Out of the window, I saw two gents in a boat. <laughs> could you clearly, could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you. Uh oh. Wait a second. I was gonna ask you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, of course. The witness that testified she, she, that she saw him is also a photo. You must look also at your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Then there's another. Uh, were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Uh, well, 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 sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless? Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. Trying to keep you from talking to the witness. To what end? Well, and everything on that boat, on that lake, but the boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, as sure as a country gal can be. Which I'm pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss 
part you. That's right. Let's have this question full. Huh. No need for further questioning. I'm just being sustained. Uh, that's what I'm sustained. It's a course. Oh, great. Enough. I think we have all heard what we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems that you're unable to find this in, in the testimony worth noting. That your honor. You keep your promise, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid I'll signalize any further outburst. I'm holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, uh huh. Nick! Lots of money is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean, but if I can't say anything, what, what can I do? I believe. I believe he's covered with his money sufficiently to make a decision. <clears throat> then pass your judgment. Very well. Was my first take the stand? Uh, who was that? It was me! Maya? Uh, was something wrong? Do you use some facilities? Stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. It to be Lana. What's a big idea treating like some criminal? I saw him, I swear, it was Edward. Enough. Judge. Go to the defense of the court. Uh, yeah, it's just the court. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, I took Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He's a contender court and must leave. No. No. Wait. I don't know who the outburst you are. Nick is innocent. Ha. What's the difference? All that remains, all that remains is the guilty verdict be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong. Wrong. W what? Uh, I, mm. Damn. Mm. Oh. Well, what? Did you hear? Did you hear what my heart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changed her testimony, and I have right to cross-examine her again. Order. Order, 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 order! Circus Andrews. Nickel B joke. Plagiarism! Yeah, 
you were accepted to court? You were accepted to court. That's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. No, motherfucker. No, motherfucker. I'm starting to. I cannot. What? Miss Lola Hart has made a new testimony. The defense has a right to cause her again. But he's going to take the court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest me. Hmm. Very well. My FA. You leave the courtroom immediately. Nick. I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Maya. I could not fit this null drama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate bad readings of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. Am I going to do in here or else? Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. That last statement. I saw it. I saw I saw as clear as day. The man in the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. What about the other man? If I forget your your promise, Mr. Wright, you claim that there was a contradiction in the witness testimony. Well, find it if, if you can, if you can. Oh boy. Damn. That's it? Uh oh, I don't know if I can find anything in that. What will Maya say? Got you. Your heart finally. Oh, 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 you got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. Something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. Sell, sell. This picture was taken for a professional high quality film, correct? Yet, even it, even it cannot capture the faces of the two men on the boat. Yet, you cl you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please. Yet now she has to that Mr. Mr. Von Karma. How can you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see could you see the film that night? Of course I of course of course I said I could see it. I could and I meant I could. Then please have to find the then please have to find the the circumstances the circumstances of your sightings. I did it. I found a, I found a hole in the von Karma's carefully vague testimony. That's what I was seeing. You're right. It was a cold night, and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my nachos with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked through my binoculars. Seeing no problem. Hmm, you use binoculars? Hmm, you use binoculars? Very well, you may begin your first thing Nathan, Mr. Wright. This one better be good.
everything. So, how can you see Mr. Edgeworth? Now just hold your horses for a second. Yeah, I hate the, you, you hate the Yankee Tats. Never find a gal where I'm from. See if the attorneys have told as that that's it. Nope, nobody loves me. That's why I said to the camera. Okay. Your camera? Yeah, it's got a it's got an automatic. The camera doesn't do the camera doesn't do this at all. It doesn't be sustained. Alright, do not let me answer any of my questions. Still I brought my still I brought boxes with me. Binoculars, huh? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned you're out you're you're out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well yeah. We well, need a telescope, not binoculars for that. Yeah. I gotta talk about your camera too. What's that boy? Take pictures of the meteor showers? The cameras are relevant. The camera is relevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Hmm, Mr. Wright. The camera really relevant to this case. If you believe this, you may continue with your final questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, you think you press the camera? Press further. This is make or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It's perhaps the key to the entire case. If I could see my questioning, I'm leaving a little word there. Very well. Miss Hart, we just want to hear about that camera. Yeah, 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 I hear you. The camera, the camera said take pictures of the meteor shower. Miss Hart, what made you choose that photograph? <laughs> what made you choose that lake to photograph the meteors? You know the fog is really heavy on that lake. Not very suited for stargazing. Y yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I would say to you straight... Uh, see straight R. So right. I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Now wait a minute. Continue your, continue your testimony, stupid girl. You were saying how you saw Edgeworth? Grr. What was your comment? Please. What was that? When I looked, heard that noise on the lake, I looked out with my binoculars. I don't think fog has change that at all. What do you mean? Binoculars can't see through the fog. You say you clearly saw them. 
uh, I said, yeah, enough. That was her testimony. Hmm. She sounded pretty doubtful to me. I had to find a clear contradiction first. Care how many contradictions I get. I had to find a hole in the testimony. I think, one thing I ever do. All right, it was a cold night in the mist was thick and stripped. So, how could you see that's worth? Let's hold you this for a second. You think that's different from a gal where you're fr I'm from? The camera, I accept the car. Your camera? Yeah, uh, uh, got on that. Heart. What did you do this photograph me here? So you know the fog is thick in that lake. You know this was a very good to see the stargazing. Well yeah, you see I I guess I was I guess I was thinking I guess I was thinking things straight. Hard It's right. Read my witness because of her charm intellect. Oh wait a minute. Edward? Sarah, you can almost a please. I look at binoculars. You're broken, you sorry? That was a lie. Susu! Susu! I thought Cameron I thought they came set up yesterday. I was going directly at the lake. You have to point a camera up or take a picture of stars, Miss Hart. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was out a great photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Well, then, what was that people see photographing? Seven. Your Honor, take a look at this. Was that trying to throw you at the, at the lake? Miss Hart. This is what you're trying to photograph. What is a newspaper article? Gordy? Oh, the side of the Gordy Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I never heard of the Lake Monte. You got proof or something? Let's see. Let's see if you. Let's see. Let's see you prove I was down the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Oh, no, no. oh well, damn it, no.
It's enough. Ah. When I play it, I'll see evidence. So right, are you sure about this? I'll see that time because you're putting me down. It's happening out so I like make, it, make a mistake. I'll see no joking around this time, please. You proved that the witness was trying to photograph the lake or your lake monster. The proof, Mr. Hart. The proof. The proof, Mr. Hart, is your own camera. Your camera is set to take the photographs in front of loud noises, correct? This photograph is here, taken when a gun fired on, on the lake. And here's an article about Gordy. Quinn's article. Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well. You're trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you set your camera to find the loud noises. Order, order, turkey sandwiches, and see. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought that was a little strange. Y yeah, sure you did. Well, Miss Hart. You were coming to try a picture of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are you lawyers this smart? So smart, boy. I was down trying to photograph G Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you used, what you just used several minutes of precious time to prove, is see more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey! That's as he so successfully said. So what? It changes nothing? Not true, motherfucker. You're hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. What could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart. Well, you hide the fact that you're supposed to for Gordy from the court? Let me find your testimony. Uh, right. Right, fine. I'll testify. Please let me know. Something will change. It has to. I'm going to spot it. Meep. Actually, y'all, I'm not research to the university at all, y'all. I'm the theater report. I'm the theater photographer. I, I might as well skip it be if I got a picture of that monster. That's how it came out by the lake. That's all I was hiding. I heard the, heard the bank. I heard straight out of the lake. I don't have much else to look at, so I watched that book the whole time. When I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, I heard other gunshots. I was looking at the, that book the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to fry. You were able to write and cross your witness. This testimony has unchanged from before. I have a person, a student, or a partner, right? There's no bearing on this case. Don't really waste more time on another witness cross-examination. Er, uh, hmm. I couldn't defend this right to cross your witness, Your Honor. I'm trying to get rid of this karma onto something. I know it. 
Cause your enemies will hear it because what? What's their contradiction? Very well. Then you get this flash radiation. You should show yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! That'll be it first. Ha! <laughs> very funny. You're saying that this is the last chance to question Mason, Mr. Wright. Problems so, 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 will we'll, 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 we'll and that's my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understand? Yes, Your Honor. My person, no, what my person are you? I ain't, I ain't sure I'm, I ain't, I'm high enough to, to be called a man of anything. I'm not a good. Let's get a photographer. Yep. Get your photos and sell to the press. Uh, uh, get your photos and sell to the press. It's kind of. That kind of, it's that kind of business. Hey, I think hey, I think it's because of my guts situation last year. And guess what? Um, what? There, uh, there was a UFO, UFO, stay, just hanging in the sky. Uh, UFO. You know, an unidentified flying object. UFO. That's why I had sort of. That's why I had sort of revelation. I knew I should become a investigative photographer. Uh, I see. I'm not sure you basis for a career. What are you really all newsworthy? Heck yeah, they even got him back up on TV. Try to appear in the local newsroom where a month still qualifies. Last month's show was Bigfoot Side in Acorn Hills, I believe. Hey! They also took the newspaper. For real! So, right? Why, well, I do not believe you can win. Keep on moving on, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, this came out the lake. I'm not sensor on your camera. Yep, brought it from a friend of the university. Yep, brought it from a friend of the university. That's how almost every sound picks up. And when it gets a bang, that's a shot. Yep. The picture is uh, taken so far. The only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. It's all I was hiding. Time you told us why you're going to hide your two persons at the lake. Heck, if we're out, well, heck, if we're out, what well, I was up to, the lake would be full of competitors. Competitors? Yeah, second rate set bugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah. Is that where you're hiding the truth? Well, actually, all right. I'm not having quite sure. No reference to the case. Whatever you say, or I, I told her to keep. Her, I know you. I know you told her to keep her trap. Keep your keep your trap quiet. I, I had I had the bet, and I said, "What's the lake?" What time was it? Why, why, 
I've heard that one before, I guess I'm sure, but it's not like, it's not like a gunshot. There's a lot sharp, there's a lot sharper shot than I would have expected. Hmm. That's also do with Blake's, I just watched that book the whole time. What's the look at? Yep. I don't know if you heard a, a bang that got there. I thought you wasting time looking at a boat. What? What do I do now? What are you going to look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hands, puppy. Tops, I'm getting there. I saw possibly in the men's hands. I heard it in a gunshot. The other lake with the boat at the time? Huh? What? So you're thinking maybe the. You shot from another place? Huh? What? Wait! So you're think, so you thinking. So you're thinking you shot from another place, y'all? I don't think so. Nope. Lake was smooth as glass. Nothing, no, 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 nobody else on the shore either. Hmm. Some sort of contradiction in this testimony. Right, let's see some, some, something. I was looking at. What are you out there? You know what we be looking at. I agree. You know what person would. But you are far from normal. What? Y'all want to stop over here and say that? You're camping at the lake. Take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What do you do if you, if you heard a loud noise? You just came to the lake from the inside of Gordy. That's what. You don't get the boat a second thought. Ah! Order. Continue, sir, right? It's not like you're watching your boat through the binoculars. However, you want the binoculars to watch that boat? You need them to search for Gordy. And that's what you were doing. Grr. Well, hup. Well, not y'all mentioned that. Uh, y'all, I did kind of take my binoculars and get, kind of scan the lake a bit, y'all. I mean, Gordy might be, be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying you're not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I was thinking, really. I was just thought, you know, I could be witness to a murder and all. I kind of got, ex kind of got excited. I just heard I watched that boat until now. This is totally uncalled for. But, but, but hey, I got you the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who was shooting. Who was shooting? Who in this? Right, right. I took this photograph in. Witness, that's enough. You had a long day. Sh sh shut your pie hole. Sh shut my what? What was I going to say? Photograph in what? Wait a second. See, you have. Yeah, if I got to prove it, pal, you really can't tell the photo who it is, sh sh 
we can't recover for the shooting. That's why she's sit, that's why pal says she's gonna write the photograph, pal. She'll like, drop the call you mate, but she we'll see who's who. She wants that photo. Oh, drop it from the we'll show it. I got a hunch. Hey, but that my photograph is bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. Wrong deal, you put it for Edgeworth. Or worse. Should I do? I'm sorry, look at this photograph. You know this photograph, did you not? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Why has the enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What y'all talking about? You're the one that you're the one that took the court in the first place. You all fool. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this, Mister Von Karma? Um. Miss Hart. So the photograph, so the photograph the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution, the prosecution is objective of this evidence. Objection denied, motherfucker. The witness will also look over to the court. Here it is. <laughs> hmm. We still cannot. S hmm. We still cannot see who's firing this. It could be a defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Like for the court record. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Mm, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. <coughs> A little bit has done any of us. The like question is, you not show it. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose this means the cross examination, I suppose this means the cross examination is over, obviously. Then, the I'd like to cross examination of Miss Lotto Hart. And none too soon. That's a favorite waste of my time. Mr. Wong Kong, do you have anything to add? I, st I stated everything I needed to, be needed to when the this trial began. This I have evidence, a decisive witness, for the most part. What else could I possibly be required? Nothing, of course. It's time for me to clear my verdict. Wait, I'm supposed to go down like this? It has to be included in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Really bad. What should I do? Your Honor, just having the size of these phrases of this enlargement. What might that be? What's the right? So, what were you mean by this photo? What the photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. Also, it's just what's strange about this photo.
Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm sure I understand. The shooter is strange. Look at the hand holding your pistol, Your Honor. The hand? The hand directly cries countries that have piled evidence. This, this man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll tell you the evidence the left hand contradicts. The evidence is the evidence is clear. The man holding this photograph is, is holding that pistol in. However, the prince and the murder weapon were, were Edward's right hand. Ergo, the man seeing this pistol in the photograph is not Mr. Edward. <laughs> Not everyone in this courtroom has quieted down. I can make this court of, of all. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Yeah, give us the definitive proof today. We know that Mr. Edward fired the pistol that night. However, this is a rather large problem. If we should not do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. We've seen that there were no other people on the lake that night. The defendant who shot the victim. Miss Hart? It was Larry. Larry did it. Larry always does it. The victim himself. The victim remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order. Order? So, you are saying that Tim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of another play Nathan. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm very so sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? I thought the victim was real dis... was even shot. The... distant? The victim was clearly shot from further away than a meter, from a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. There's no way it could have been suicide. Uh, order, order! Mr. Karma, are you sure? I'll show you your data. Of course, I always see the possibility of suicide, you see. Say it in the court record. Hmm. Oh, I see. Very well, allow me to take my opinion. Showing that the situation the suitor. Uh, the situation the suitor had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, Prince on these again revealed that the suitor was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to pay you for this trial for these days. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further litigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Grr. That, that is all. Court is adjourned. One fifteen p.m. Defendant lobby number two. Yeah. 
think that's a close one. Me. Hey! Do you have anything to say? No. No, Gunner. I have the lips declared innocent, right? Well, well, yeah, but... What about the, the lake in your ways? If he commits suicide, then who? The shooter's a meter, a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. Uh, let's get around. Huh. Look. I'm gonna check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something. Tell her something for me. What? Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure she'll have you. If you say that, it's worth. Jerk. I, 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 later that day, I, rec I recorded the transcript of Law's entire testimony. I thought it might give me an animation for the trial tomorrow. Of course, you see a shooter. So only wit, only part of the testimony that, stu that stood was the bang she heard. To be continued. Whew. That was another long one. But. Oh, my one yesterday. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me and everything for the episode. Join right tomorrow for, for more. Phoenix Wright, it's attorney. Like if you have not, click the bell icon and subscribe. Never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.